What's up, everybody, and welcome to Boyd the Metalloid number eight, the show where we give them the axe. So, what are we giving the axe tonight? We've got a little shout out to America's most famous fish, Jaws. So, now we're not cooking Jaws tonight, but we are cooking some good old wholesome salmon. And boys, you better get familiar with that there because this is what's light and this is what's right for summer here. Can you get a shot of that right there? Can you get a shot of that right there? This is why we got to get tight, boys. We got to get back in there. We got to get tight. We got to get right. We're going to do a little panko breadcrumbs tonight there. I love those panko breadcrumbs because we make like a crusted style. Some Italian zest there, lemon. We're going to do some asparagus and we're going to do a fresh squash. So we're just going to do this. Uh, we're going to do it in little threes. We're not going to get a little crazy there. We'll make three little separate bundles. Chop those ends off. One. Right to the plate. Two. Right to the plate. Three. Right to the plate. Now here's our squash. Chop that head off. Cut that off of there like that. And uh, we're just going to try to we're gonna get the old chef's knife out for that. We're just going to cut that squash into little thin pieces and we're going to sear them on the blackstone. Those are cut up. We're gonna hit them with a little bit of our all-purpose things for everything spice that I make. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that over there. Looks like we have a special guest here tonight. One of the Beatles are here. She loves you, yeah, 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 and you know you could be that. Matt, what? I don't know the end of the song, but we just had to throw that in there. Enough, enough of this beetle stuff. Let's get to work on the Blackstone. So let's talk a little bit about the salmon here. We're gonna season the salmon. We've got some salmon fillets we got. Of course, they're fresh. Now for the application that we're using tonight, we're searing them, uh, skin on. Now I saw a little trick by a cook, and he scored that on there. He scored that skin. So we're gonna do a little score on there. I saw what he did. We're gonna give that a little score. Now that skin's a little tough. A little score down there. And what that does is help the uh, heat when we put it on that flat top there and give it a little more effective cooking. Now we're not going to turn them back over, so we're going to give that a little sprinkle on there. We got to give it a little bang, 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 a little sprinkle right there. We'll turn it over, and good and dry. And we'll give them a little sense there. All right, there, and then bam, right there. Now, one of the things I saw that I really like and does give a really good flavor and help the grill, a little lemon zest. That's just a lemon, a regular lemon. We'll do a little lemon zest on there, on that side. And I tell you what, when it puts on the grill, it, you can really smell it. It smells good. All right, it's a nice tribute, Jaws, the movie Jaws. The movie that has put fear into everyone's heart when they go in the water till this day. You always hear that. Dun, 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 dun. Even when you walk down the beach, if you're not even in the water, you hear it. Dun, 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 dun. So we have a couple lines there. Anybody got a famous Jaws line in there? Remember Quint? I'll catch this bird for you. It ain't gonna be easy. I'll catch this bird for you, but it ain't gonna be easy. It's a bad fish. It's not like going down to the pond. Chasing Tommy cats and bluegills. Not like going down the pond chasing bluegills or Tommy cats. This fish swallow you whole. No snaking, no tenderizing. Down you go. This shark swallow you whole. Shaking, tenderizing. Down you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Okay, as you can see, we got a little lemon zest we use. We put on there on both sides. We just sprinkled it light. I got a little lemon in here. I'm gonna give that a little lemon on that side. Oh, one of the beetles came back. <laughs> she loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. He must really love this salmon because he keeps coming back. Hey everybody, you know on the Metalloid Show, Boyd gives a big reference to Buckethead all the time. Well, we just saw Buckethead this Saturday night at the Joy Theater in New Orleans, me and my good cuz Jared, and we went over there and we had a great time and the show was awesome. So we look forward to seeing him again. We were at Buckethead's Boys Club, but we didn't get into the place. All right, everybody, we're fixing to get into the good stuff now, the real actual cooking. We got our spatulas, we got our butter, and now we're gonna be doing, oh, one of them damn beetles must have come, come back on me. I think it was Ringo. <laughs> Anyway, back to cooking right here. We got a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil for the asparagus. Now keep in mind with the Blackstone Grill right here, I've only got one side lit high and I've got the other side off. Put them on there. We're just throwing them on there with a little olive oil. I'm gonna put a little butter on there too because I like a little butter. It goes good with everything. So you see how that's cooking down right there? We're gonna put up a little bit of our uh, shaky spice. 
Okay, some squash we got right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that squash on there. We got a little bit of asparagus, we got some squash on there. And we're gonna let the black stone do its thing. That's what it does. So we're gonna cook them slow right there and just let them work. You see we're cooking them slow. I'm gonna spread those uh, asparagus out a little bit. Move that squash over. How's that looking there, eh? You getting a good shot of that? Here comes the salmon. How are we gonna do the salmon? Now, I've seen use butter, I've seen use oil, but for my flavor taste and what I like, we're just gonna go with a good old slab of butter. What's left of that there? Uh-oh, uh-oh, look out. Let's go ahead and just put it all on there and we got some more if we need it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little half teaspoon of fresh garlic on there in the butter. Put that in there just because it's, it's uh, fresh garlic. I'm gonna move that around a little bit. You getting that there, boss man? All right, we got some panko crumbs. I'm gonna put the panko crumbs down on the spot where I'm gonna drop the pizza the filet because I want that to be seared with it. I'm gonna turn that heat up. That was on low. Skin down, we scored them. Uh-oh, that's sounding good. That's sounding good, y'all. Let's put them together right there. You getting a good shot on that, boss man? Now you see that garlic? I use that garlic to kind of flavor the butter. So that's another little trick or tip, you know, if you want to do right there on there. With that skin side down, we're cooking these slow. It's not going to get out of hand. It's not going to get out of control. And it's a good, light, healthy alternative. You know what that needs? We had not done the splash tonight, boys. How about the lime splash? Uh-oh, this must not be open. That smells pretty damn good, boys. That's a good, that, I, whoever's idea that was, that was a good idea. So, the salmon is cooking slow. And that's one of the things that we want to show. I'm gonna give that right there. That looks pretty bad. We're gonna turn one piece over and see how that looks, cameraman. Now that don't look too bad. Ooh, that's a nice blackened piece. 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 Now this is where you want to add just some zest. I'm going to put a little zest and we're just going to um, just go crazy with it over top of the grill. Some will get on the fish, some will get on the grill. Man, that smells amazing, don't it boys? So we got a little bit of zesty Italian right here. Now you can use balsamic vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar, you can use a couple of different things. But for cooking on the Blackstone, when we get to this point, what we need right now is something that gives a nice little seared flavor and keeps it from drying out. So we're just going to... Hit a little bit of that. Hear that sound, boys? All right, everybody, here we go. We're about to take the finished product off the grill. We've got our grilled salmon, asparagus, and uh, squash. That looks pretty good. I can feel that way it came off the grill right there. Oh, that one got a little bit there. That is cooked perfectly. It is not overcooked. You can feel the texture of it on there. And there you have it. We cooked all that on the black stone. We have a raccoon a little piece tonight. All right, everybody, we are almost at the end. As a matter of fact, we are at the end. Our presentation has been, look at that plate. That is some crusted salmon. We used a little panko crumbs, a little butter. We did some uh, squash with some asparagus. We're gonna add a little lemon zest because it smells so good tonight and we've done it all good just for, just, just, just for good nature. And there it is on there, just a little touch. And boy, I'll tell you what, we, I think we've learned a lot tonight. We've come a long ways. Boys, can't touch the plate because the cameraman will get pissed off. The lemon's rolling. This is what it's all about. This summer, eating healthy, eating some greens, eating more vegetables, eating more fruit, get healthy. Boys, let's get that island, uh, let's get that island toned on there. Let's get a side shot of this. This is what we don't want. This is what we don't want to see on the island. We don't want to see this. This is the summer coming up. So, Fado Do's coming up. Shrimp season's about to begin. We're just about a week away, and we're gonna do a full-scale, real seafood down-home thing. And I'll tell you what, the boy, the metalloid, knows about his seafood. So looking forward to working with the Blackstone. We got our burner over here we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be boiling, we're gonna be frying, we're gonna be searing, and we're gonna be doing it all year. And so thanks for tuning in, and see you on number nine. Look how flaky and tender that is. That's how salmon is supposed to break apart. That's so good.
and it's so good for you.